my god what's up youtube welcome back to my channel my name is gem and i am back with another paleo plot tour and i'm so excited i love seeing different builds different ideas and creativity i think doing this plot tour has given me a lot of inspiration and motivation to decorate my plot and i hope it's kind of giving you the same thing like inspiring you to play the game a little more so for today's tour we are going to be touring dread knight and i had them like fill out a form to kind of like further describe their plot they said it's a mix of everything but some of them is more likely a cozy cottage vibe with a mix of witchcraft it is really great looks and looks like someone actually live in it and it is pretty much cluttered and as someone like me who enjoys and prefers minimalism I've kind of learned to love cluttered looks just because it kind of resembles life it kind of shows that someone actually lives here you know people love to hold on to things Dread Knight has about 60 to 90 hours in this plot alone like working on the house they said they started since close beta and house went through a lot of stages so you guys are going to see the current state of their home i never got to see their home like prior to this tour i'm excited anyways let's go ahead and get started okay we are here there is a lot of items there is a lot of everything being built there's just a lot of like spaces being filled i love the entrance it's so like grand and he really lets you know like this is the way to the front of my house and this is his farming plot oh this is so interesting this is such a unique way to set up your plot i know a lot of people like glue them together and stick them together because you get the benefits of you know getting your plants more watered more harvest more crops and increase quality but he actually went into a more aesthetic and organized route which i actually might start doing that and then he's got other stuff here Ooh, i <gasps> this is what he used a pergola for this is adorable oh my god it's just like a little little area where you can just kind of like sit relax while you kind of like take a break from tending your farming area oh my goodness i believe this is a makeshift item i kind of like how he set the well right behind it i don't know just something about that well kind of really framed this beautifully and he's got like this tree away from the other ones i guess he wanted a more like even number of plots then over here oh wait i didn't notice this but he's using these mats as kind of like a stepping stone like a, a pathway which is absolutely cute and i would have never thought of that so he's got the well here i love that i am still working on my well but that's like 1300 coins oh so this is the cake party area wow he organizes really well and i know only a few people uses a gazebo for a cake party and it's really hard to work with it because it's a circle it's a rounded area and for cake parties you kind of have to be very creative with how you place them but everything about this look is very symmetric i love that absolutely gorgeous and he still used the, the the benches in the back to like put the lamps on there so i really like how he did that and everything is easily accessible and like you can navigate around it really easy i think this is one of the most efficient cake party setups in a gazebo that i've ever seen <gasps> and this is like the food court kind of like a little maji market inspired area oh he's got the food stool i love it's like a hot dog stand that's so cute i love that i'm sure he created a lot of or got a lot of hot dogs just to create that oh my god this is so cute it's got it's like and he's got a chapa in there oh my god and he used the uh, ranch house sink i really like the ranch house sink but i can never use it or never style it indoors just because i feel like it didn't blend in with my stuff but for outdoorsy look i think it makes sense and this is pretty functional which i really appreciate we love a fashionable and functional space and this is oh 
why does this look kind of like a um oh my god i see what it is now i see what this is supposed to resemble this is kind of like the stage this is like the where the tapa band performs this is so creative this is kind of like your entire like chapa bar s kind of area i really love this like this one right here in this corner is playing a a lute or whatever it's called i think it's a lute that is so cute i love this and then what is this item here valley sunrise sink this is actually one of the newest items that i it's kind of hard to get because i think you just have to find them and this actually looks really cool i have never seen that till now and let's see here he's got like a little bathroom area this is so creative guys i know this is kind of like on its own but the fact that you can tell which one what this is used for is pretty pretty neat it's an outhouse but i think this is supposed to be kind of like a porta potty area and i love how he dedicated such a simple like furniture to place out here so i love that i this area is so nice and it's not too cluttery you can kind of like make out what it's what it is you know what i mean and then he's got a fountain here i love how he still have like spaces for you to kind of walk around like it's not too cluttery i love this makeshift couch too oh this kind of looks like a shrine this is so interesting i don't have this item and this is the moonshuck sundial i don't think i have this item at all i don't know if it's actually functional i know you kind of like get this from a quest and i love how he framed it with the trees i like how he actually fenced in everything i don't know if a lot of you guys do that but he fenced the entire plot itself i forgot to do this earlier but i should have given you guys like the entire layout but holy moly oh my god oh my god he filled in every space here i don't know if he's planning on creating anything else here but you can tell that he utilized like every little space i mean i don't know if this is still in the works but yeah this is pretty much his layout to give you guys kind of like a background of what how everything was formed and created in the questionnaire that he had filled out he said his favorite spot in her slot is uh this insect room and he said because at first i was just messing around on building it and it turned out great it's mostly inspired through ani and tamala so i haven't been indoors but i am excited to see what's in the insect room and he's got the treasure chests here just to kind of like create more clutter I love this little picnic area. He's got another makeshift pergola. And I feel like that's really hard to find, you know? Like, finding one alone is already difficult. But having two is impressive. And he's got this makeshift picnic blanket. I really like how this is set up. I love that. The food's always looking great in this game. I love the food in this game. It looks so delicious. And then he's got this Choppa Sandy, which you get from the Maji Market. I never got to get that one, unfortunately, because I didn't play that much during the Maji Market. He actually utilized this tent as kind of like a camper site. You know, I really like it. I love all the makeshift items because it looks really rustic and busted but it gives this like overused look you know it, it gives this like really torn look which is really really good for outdoors he's got a makeshift bed i don't even have that and then this makeshift nightstand it looks like he's got all of the makeshift stuff which that's really that's a lot of fishing okay and what else is over here it's another entryway which i'm not gonna get to because i know he's gonna give us a tour so i'm gonna i'm gonna clap so he can take us to the next area look at this entrance what a grand entrance here wow oh wait does he have a homestead display case does he have something in there thought you couldn't place anything in there i love how this looks he really was not kidding about like everything is filled out and everything is kind of like cluttered and it looks like someone lives here and they really utilize every little space here like i love this chessboard here it's kind of giving me like home in philippines your filipino grandmother's home and this right here is oh i don't know if this is like oh this is like the winery area this is so genius he has like all of his barrels in here his preserve jar kind of like a little winery inside his home you can tell because he has like a bunch of like 
Einstein and all of these bottles. I love that. And of course, he's using the trees outdoors to kind of add foliage inside the home, you know, because we can't really hang a lot of plants indoors. This is, that's a cool little trick to fill in empty spaces on the wall. I love how everything is just like very, I know it's cluttered, but it's well thought out, if you know what I mean. That's so pretty. Oh my God. And this is just kind of like a little living space. I guess like a cozy corner where you can read. It's kind of interesting how he laid this out though, because there is another entryway over there, but like he added like a bench and then he added a folding screen to kind of like divide the room because sometimes when you leave the arch open like that, it kind of invites you to the other room a little too open, a little too easy. So adding like a folding screen kind of divides you from that space. So I really like what he did with that one. And this is the dining area. This home kind of like, is kind of of like a, a house where you host a lot of parties and you can just tell because he has a bunch of chairs here you know this is kind of like where everyone gets together have a cookout this is kind of like the home for a big family and you come home for thanksgiving and this is a very very homey home if that makes sense i actually like how the cherry blossom wallpaper kind of frames the archway i like what he did with that and this is the kitchen Ooh, the kitchen is so tiny the kitchen is tiny but i love how it looks and how it's lay laid out from here even with how this arch is picked out um he used like a regular door arch just to kind of like create more wall space between the two rooms and so you really feel separated from the dining area and ah uh, what I like about his space is like, it's cluttered so nicely, but it doesn't feel claustrophobic. And it's actually well organized and you can still kind of like walk around the kitchen. You have space to walk around in and you don't feel like you're bumping into things. And I just love how every little furniture is different from one another. Like he has an industrial sink here, but he's also using a log cabin sideboard and you still have a homestead icebox. And then he's also using a homestead runner. And what's really interesting about this look is that he's using this, I forgot what this flooring is, but I know it has a more modern feel to it, but it looks more like log cabin, if that makes sense. And then everything is just so cute here. He's got this makeshift wall shelf. I like that, like every, little space is filled in with something valuable look at that i would have never thought about using barrels up there too that's really genius like this is kind of like your 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 typical filipino grandmother home and it really screams that and i love it i love this so much it's so simple but it's just so well thought out oh my god he even has an aquarium over there we used to have something like that back home in the Philippines too. And we, for some odd reason, we would always have an aquarium in the dining room. And I love that. Now, this area, it looks like the formal living room, but it's got a little bit of everything. It's like the entertainment room, but also kind of like a formal living room. Of course, there's gonna be food here. I love that. But he's also got this arcade machine. Oh, look what he did with a wall. It's got more like log cabin wall decor to kind of give more nature-y look and again, fill in the space. What I like about the space here, and this is something I've noticed, is that he fills in like other spaces in the wall with paintings. And I just love a collage of paintings on the wall just because it really resembles life and shows you all the memories in the home i mean obviously in this game it doesn't show you like the actual memories that you have it's just a generic painting but i don't know just something about collage of paintings just something so homey about it but what's interesting about this home is that again this is a mixture of every single style like you have a dragon tiled rug you have an industrial armchair and you have a ranch armchair and i, I think how he designed this it made everything like flow so nicely because i know in my personal home 
I tend to kind of match the furniture and use that one style alone and then with that I run into the struggle of like well I don't know how to style everything else because every furniture collection is so limited especially for the industrial collection there's not a lot of things so I felt very limited but I like this idea of just like mix and matching everything and it looks great I love it and what I like about this is that he even has a capital chic large shelf so this is two bookshelves but one is faced the opposite way what's really interesting about this is that it created such a perfect circle I mean it's not entirely perfect but I I just thought this was such a creative way to approach this bookshelf and this entire look. It framed um, this uh, <laughs> this dragon here with a gemstone. And you know what this corner reminds me of? One corner for Mother Mary where you kind of like pray in your prayer beads. And this is kind of like resembles that. And that I think that's such a cute little detail. I think if I'm correct, Dread Knight is Filipino. And I really love how he created this corner right here to kind of resemble like back home you know mother mary in the corner of the room and this is kind of like your prayer area and then you've got a cute nice rose here i have never seen this item this is another valley sunrise item interesting but i love what he's done here it's beautiful and it looks like he used a spotlight which is so interesting because I usually stray away from that because the light is so odd but I love what he did there but I'm trying to look in the back and see what fire is back there and it looks like it's a torch oh my god it's a torch of like log cabin wall torch but there's like two or three of them and it actually has fire i feel like those torches was never lit when i put them outside it would just be like smoky or it wouldn't light at all but that is so creative i love that and then he even has this capital chic wall shelf like everything about the furniture has been kind of like decorated in a way that you wouldn't have thought of you know what i mean like this kind of framed out the sh large shelf really nicely and how it's symmetrical with a sunrise sh chandelier that is so interesting okay I think I'm done with this space and we are ready to move on to the next one. And then what is this? <gasps> this is like your creative room. This is where you study. This is where you create your clothes. This is where you modify. This is so well thought out because like in my space, I have one big room for all of the functional um, crafting areas or crafting tables. Any machine that crafts something, I just kind of like put it all in one room and just call it a day. But I love what he did here because he made a dedicated corner for it and kind of like designed and decorated around it. Like he put this dress form in next to the fabric loom because you know it just kind of flows in well together and if you live in a real home you're not just gonna have your fabric loom your modification bench or your glass furnace all next to each other in one room if you know what i mean and so i really like how he decorated around each crafting tables he even uses the boards next to the modification bench each space just shows a lot of signs of life i love how he went into detail with that he has an alarm clock here he even has a telescope here what is this miner's anvil i don't think i've seen this one i don't think i've seen that at all because you know i'm early in the game and then this is another crafting area he put a lot of chests here i mean if you're like creating stuff in a workshop you're bound to have two i did not know you could get two of them and again lots of makeshift items i love this this is so creative and then just lots of makeshift items because when you're in a workshop you're bound to have like scratches on your furniture you're bound to have imperfections and this entire room really resembles that and then it looks like he used a dragon tiled wall lamp but he i don't know why it looks so weird maybe is this like a different lamp is this one entire lamp oh i was like why does it look like a bar i've never seen it like that but it looks like he tilted the wall lamp sideways or horizontal and connected the two like little tassels together so it looks like a light bar that is so creative i love that 
Dun, da, da, da. Going over here. And this is another. Oh, this is his bedroom. I love this. Now, this is completely different. used to this wallpaper i i don't know i don't remember who you get it from but this feels so so real it really feels like you're underwater and the way it's designed makes it feel so 3d i love that i love that i need to get this wallpaper i wish it could show me when i'm going through here but it doesn't tell me what wallpaper this is and he's got a lot of the chapa items but everything is so so cute look at the details on this table he got the halo halo got all the food right here i love that this is kind of like his own personalized room but like it, he kind of did put a divider to like that's so interesting i see why he added the folding screen because to kind of separate you from the bamboo walls you know and this is another aquatic look. I love that because you're in the bathroom, you know. And then he's got a chapa taking a bath. That is so cute. This is so interesting because from everything that we've looked at, everything felt very log cabin, very earthy. And this is more like prestige looking. This is more like expensive, bougie. But this is beautiful. I even love how he created kind of like this L counter space here. It, like I said, everything about this space isn't symmetrical and I love how he just kind of filled it into his own and really using folding screens to his advantage. I feel like I don't know how to use folding screens and I just use it to separate rooms, but you can also use it as an entryway to the rooms because you know we don't really have the option to add doors into the doorways like between each room. I like it. I think I'm gonna start doing that. That's one thing I'm gonna start doing from this point on probably because sometimes it's not fun to look at things like right there when you're crossing to a different room <gasps> Ooh, oh my god stop this is so so elegant this is so elegant this is such a change and i love how he added a bellflower banner on these arches to kind of like Oh my god, that is so genius. That is so genius. Now, this is more cohesive in terms of the colors. Everything's like warm tone, red, elegant, classy. And I feel like a general just like sitting in this room right now. Like this is this is where I'd be sitting right now, except but I'm a fairy, so I kind of don't blend in nicely. But even how he designed this statue here the torch the torch is really impressive i would have never thought of like making something like that i didn't think that the torches would light up this way this is so genius and how like the giant scissors are pointed towards the phoenix and everything about this room has so much symmetry in it wow This is beautiful, you guys. This is so pretty. And it looks like he's still filling up these um, shelves here, but everything looks amazing. I love how he decorated this space. This is so beautiful. Wow. <gasps> Even this wallpaper and how he kind of put the and how he put the wall clock over there. Like it 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 fits perfectly on that wallpaper. That is so creative. Wow, okay, I think this is the insect room. I think this is his favorite spot, so I'm ready. If he's proud of it, I expect great things. And it looks so... Oh my god. This is incredible. You know he could have easily put these bugs kind of just like straight But I like how everything is kind of like jagged, you know, kind of tilted off to one side It just adds more realism to it I think the cluttered look to it and the imperfections, the flaws is what makes this home feel so real Feel so homey and cozy 
Oh, I'm so in love with this corner. Even this corner here. This is so... It's like witchy, but like not too witchy. You know what I mean? If you guys remember last video with Night Reaper, hers was like full on dark, witchy, cozy vibes. Whereas this one's just kind of like witchy, but not too loud about it. You know, it's kind of like kind of like a mixture of Shane's home, but also like Tamala's home. And I love that. I I personally like Shane's home, but there are other parts and elements of Tamala's home that I also love. But I think this is a great mix of both. Like everything about this wall, the colors, the lighting, the placement of the lighting, the little details on the floor here, like the woven basket, the nightstand, how everything is just placed is so beautiful. I freaking love this. The bookshelf here, not gonna lie, I think the log cabin bookshelf has got to be one of my favorite items to put in a very earthy home. Just because it has a lot of stuff in it, like it has a lot of books and then you get this like plant in there. I do wish it came with like more neutral colors, but... is goals i want to know where is a slide coming from is this from like the actual thing itself he has a bell flower curtain i love how he framed this entire thing this is the bug catcher's insectarium this is from ani and i believe you get it with your coins and it's quite expensive so he put in a lot of hours into his home but this corner right here is so pretty. Is this the light from that you get from the bug catchers in Sectarium? This is actually my first time seeing this and I love it. And then we've got a who's it? A replica who's it? I don't even know where this is from. I'm assuming it's from a quest. I have a lot of open quests in this game. So there's a lot of things I have not unlocked. But for anyone that knows, let me know in the comments. If anyone knows this quest, where this comes from, let me know in the comments, please. And then this rainbow butterfly is so pretty. I didn't even know this existed until this video, until this tour. Um, I need one right now. Wow. I can see why he said this is his favorite spot. It's so cozy. Love that. <laughs> oh, and this is the aquarium. Oh my God, his space is so big. It doesn't feel big because, you know, everything is kind of like cluttered and he fills in every space, but this is a massive home and you don't realize it until you look at the entire layout of the map but this is a massive house and this is so pretty i do love the overhead lighting on the aquarium because it illuminates the entire glass because i'm typically the type of girl who likes low light situations low placements of lighting just for that ambience this was done very very well Oh my god, okay, I see the creativity here. He has a porthole frame on certain walls, which kind of makes you feel like you're in a submarine. So I love what he did here. Oh my goodness. I love that. Okay, now we're gonna head outside. There's just so much in this home, you guys. I love it. <gasps> stuff, stuff. This is probably my favorite spot right now. Oh my god. I would have never thought about using the Bellflower's bathtub like this. It looks like a real bathtub. Like, because you know the Bellflower's bathtub is like elevated from the ground. So he made it to where you just walk down into the bathtub. And it looks like a complete different vibe. I feel like there are a lot of homes where you just kind of like walk down into it. I like bathtubs to where it's kind of like built below the ground. Does that make sense? It's like built in the ground, not like above the ground. And I really love, 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 love this space so much. Oh my gosh. This is genius. And it looks like he used a homestead floor cabinet. Yeah, so he used a floor stud cabinet and then just kind of surrounded the whole entire 
a uh, bellflower bathtub. Looks like he also used a capital she cabinet. I do like homestead floor cabinets because it's one of the only cabinets that like has a very straight look. There's no slant or diagonal look to it. So you can flush it all together and it looks like a longer counter space. But in this case, it looks like he extended the actual patio area and you just walk down into the bathtub. Oh my God. This is, this is so freaking cozy. This is just the coziest thing. This is probably my favorite thing here. Look how he even has like bottles around. You know, you, you don't just sit in the hot tub. You drink, you eat, and you socialize. I freaking love this. I think I'm going to take this idea, Dread Knight. I hope you don't mind, but I am going to take this idea and make it my own thing, of course. And I'm not gonna copy exact little thing, but I'm gonna take this idea for sure. I love it. And this is another like aquarium area, a gaming room. Wow, this tuna is massive. It's giving me the biggest side eye right now. This tuna, damn. The side eye is a little too strong in this room right now, like. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Dude, the side eye. <laughs> the side eyes. But the side eye is strong in this room, y'all. And then there's another walkway here and he still uses like the, the fences to keep you away from other spaces and I love that. Wow. And this is just like other crafting stations where he keeps his smelter and it's more like outdoorsy stuff. But again, I love how he decorates around it and he's not just putting things side by side and calling it a day. So he fills in every little space and adds little things to give life to it. Now he's got me wanting to create a bunch of dividers and actually use it. I have so many that I don't know how to use. And that is it for Dread Knight's home. I did ask him like questions like, what are some decorating tips can he provide for Paleo players? And he said, I say the more you explore Paleo, you will see a lot of great things and will help you give idea on decorating your house. And once you reach a certain trust level with the NPC, you will also be able to see their house. Lastly, checking out friends plot is also nice and more likely to give you an idea on your build. Don't be afraid to go to other people's homes. Don't be afraid to watch YouTube videos and feed off from their creativity and make it into your own. And then I asked him, do you have anything else to add about your plot? And he said, right now, still working on getting makeshift furniture to blend into my build. So I'm gonna grind a lot of fishing. I also cannot wait for animals to come in the game. I already have reserve a spot for them. And so I'm excited for another future plot tour from Dread Knight. His creativity was so incredible and I hope you guys got good ideas from that. I think my favorite part was the bathtub area. I could never get myself to decorate an outdoor bathtub space. So I really love how he decorated the bellflower bathtub. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys found this inspiring. And if you want to see Paleo plot tours, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell button. And so you get notified every time I post. Also consider joining our Discord. There's a lot of Paleo players in our discord community and lots of cozy gamers and let me know your favorite part of dead knight's home see you guys in the next video bye